Welcome students, it's me, Mr. Copeland, and I am here to give you an art lesson, and we're gonna do it based on one of my all-time favorite books called The Dot. Uh, now, the point of this book is that we can all create art, and all we have to do is start by making marks on our paper, okay? So uh, this is for all the people out there who say, oh, I can't draw. Yeah, you can. It's just, a, a, it can be a something, it can be as simple as starting by putting some dots on the paper. So here we go. Let us read The Dot by Peter Reynolds. The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw but I can sign my name. And look, she signed it. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. <clears throat> If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Very good use of negative space there. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, sign it. What a great story. I love this, and the whole point of this story is that we can all create art, even if we start with a, something as simple as a line or a dot. There's no reason to say that you can't do it or you can't draw. Everybody can start just by making some marks on the paper, and that's what we're going to do. Today, we're going to do a dot lesson. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, add some dots of different sizes and colors here on my sheet, and I'm really just going to see where this takes me. Uh, I have no plan for this other than I'm just going to 
draw some dots and try to be creative with them. I want to do some big circles for big dots, and I'll do some smaller dots for uh, smaller circles for small dots, and and different colors. I'll, and I'll uh, I'm going to make a great big one right here, and um, and some swirls. You know what? Swirls start out as dots, and we can do a lot of things with swirls. You know what, I think I'm going to turn this dot over here into an eye. I don't know why, I just, you know, it's, it's, it's round and this is making me think of an eyeball. So that's what this is going to turn into. Add some shading around here, lightly coloring with another color. And, you know, I think this other one over here, I'm going to make this into a planet. It kind of reminds me of Saturn. So I'm going to put some rings around it, like the planet Saturn. You know, I think I'm going to turn this great big circle here into a face. I'm going to put some curly hair on top and give it a nice big smile and a nose great big nose on this smiley face and curly hair on top that just makes me happy and nothing has to be perfect don't think oh this line isn't exactly straight or this line needs to be a little bit wider that's not how art works just just let the let the uh, lines take you where they take you. And last thing we do, just like Mr. Reynolds says, we sign it. Ta-da! Thanks for coming to our class, guys.